I'm meteorologist Carrie Hall. Not a bad way to start out the work week, but a few changes as we go into the next couple of days. Get the umbrella ready. You will need it early tomorrow morning. Let's take a look, a look out right now at Woodbridge. It is definitely starting to feel like fall and uh, from looking at this camera, it's starting to look like fall too. A few leaves changing colors and bright sunny skies. Absolutely gorgeous out there. Now we still see those clear skies that will give way to some clouds as we go into tonight. All because of this yet another cold front moving in out ahead of that. We're seeing some clouds and some scattered light showers and that's what we can expect as we go into tomorrow. It won't bring us a heavy rain, but we will have some clouds starting to see that rain right before the morning commute. The commute may be a little bit wet, so expect things to possibly slow down and then as we go by and through the noon hour we still see those clouds but the rain will start to roll out of here and there will be some peaks of sunshine as we go into the afternoon to evening hours as far as rain uh, maybe a tenth of an inch and that's about it before all of that rain rolls off to the east and then it will feel a little bit cooler and also breezy so you want to make sure the kids have the rain gear as we get the day started there will be some scattered light showers and then uh, it will be cool too we're going to see those low dipping into the lower 60s. How about 55 degrees for a low in Redding overnight in Wilton, a low of 57 degrees. Now going through the forecast tomorrow after the morning rain, there will be some sunshine coming out and a high of 74 degrees and that will be very nice for the kids getting out of school. You want to let them go outside and play for a little while. And then as we go through the rest of the week, highs only in the upper 60s to lower 70s. Morning temperatures in the lower 50s. That's when you will need a jacket and that's the reason why it will feel like fall this weekend a little bit better with highs in the mid 70s. I'll have another look at the hyperlocal forecast coming up in a few minutes.